my name is Miss Emily Sally Crawford. I am now been 12 months that almost 12 months, 11 months that I've been transgender. So next month be the 12th month, one year, and I ain't yet thought on no air shit. I'm still looking for it. It is a lot of work, a lot of pain, a lot of saving money up, and, uh, and I'm still trying to work on trying to see how I get the lower surgery power. I do some a lot of work on it next year. But let me get to the video. Today I had the yeast infection. It's common for a trans woman to get the yeast infection. I ain't yet had my lower surgery, my vagina patty. And I know once you get a vagina, you more separate to having yeast suppression. Uh common story. I had a yeast suppression when I was a man and uh today I I can piece it down but uh, but I have like is a peak in my uh, penis after I got penis, not yet a vagina. It yet it felt like fish, so I have the use of fish. So what common kind of treatment I use for the use of fish? Basher cream. I use basher cream. You know, so the parts uh, the the skin of the penis and the skin of the vagina is similar. So, so I use batch cream and stuff like that. It worked pretty good. And I'm gonna say one thing about it. Where where that stopped me from getting lower surgery? No, I still want a vagina. And so I get yeast suppression, and I'm more common to get one. It don't matter. As long as I get my operation, as long as I get my vagina, I'm all right. And I don't get yeast suppression with me. At time it do. It's kind of fascinating to have yeast suppression. I had yeast suppression before I was transgender. When I was a man, I had yeast suppression. It was kind of fascinating. Now, I had a use of before I get my set change operation. I might have a long ulcer. But would that stop me from getting surgery? Since I'm more prone to getting a use of pressure? No. And, um, shit like I have facial hair. It, even so I shave, I still get facial hair because of my body. And I'm more hairy, and I guess I ain't thought on the estrogen yet, but I will get that soon. Right now, we just paying all these bills. The bills keep piling up and piling up, girl. And you know, you got to pay the bills. You know, you got to pay the bills. I'm just a trucking and trans girl from Georgia. You know, you got to pay the bills or be without power. So right now. I will have power on then get your clothes and shit but you know God make a way it God make a way for me to get my little surgery I'm just fine with that so this what is yes I do have yeast depression and I take batch of clean more time I take summer eve and I'm getting used to my body being transgender. I'm getting used to being transgender. And the other day, I just wore some panties on, and it felt good. And it take time that you, being a trans lady, you got to put the male clothes away, you know, the Fossils, places with bars and panties, you know. And 
I like wearing bras and I like wearing bras and panties now. It take a while to get used to it. And I like wearing nightgowns. I like wearing dresses. And today, I, today I wore a dress all day. And I never took it out. I never took my dress out. I had it on all day today. So I'm making a milestone. I went down to Jess Lane as a woman. And uh, I just thought I present myself as a woman, you know. It's not easy being transgender. Not easy, but it what you do. So it was really about yeast depression and what I do, how I treat it, and yes, at transgender, I still get yeast depression. And when I get my lower surge, I might be postponed, and I might still get yeast depression. It it, it common. Man get it too. Transgender woman get it too. Miss Violet had her yeast depression. And it it's it's common. In trans girl get yeast depression, it is common. I got yeast depression, huh? So it is alright. one time I got the yeast depression so bad it ashy burns. I mean when my genital burn, it ashy burn. I ain't got the lowest such yet. And my genital burns, itches. And it felt like fish, girl. One day I had to put on some. One day I had to put on some Badger Queen and some Summer Eve to make myself feel feminine. So I was saying that, honey. And um, my next video I'm gonna do is about how to buy underwears at a trans lady. So check me on my next video. All right, girl. Aim it. Uh, if it too, so what? Who cares? All right, bye. My name is Emily Sag Crawford. I'm a transgender YouTuber from Georgia. You go, girl. Ha! <laughs>